Welcome back to GTU. This month is dedicated to raising awareness and preventing child abuse and neglect and what you can do to help with this mission. Joining us now for more in this sponsored interview is Lori Ann Thorpe, the Executive Director of Prevent Child Abuse Utah. Welcome back. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here. How can we all get involved when we look at this month and bringing more awareness? So. The pinwheel is a symbol of childhood happiness, right? And also, uh, it's meant to be a symbol for prioritizing prevention as well. So one way that people can get involved is with pinwheels for prevention. So there's several different options. And one is, this year, you can plant a virtual pinwheel in a garden nationwide at the Prevent Child Abuse America website. So that's kind of cool. You can plant a pinwheel there and read stories of experiences of other folks just like you. So you can see we're getting some pinwheels more on the East Coast. We need some representation over here in the West. Oh, yeah, we need to so, step it up. I yep. like that you've done this, though, because that's easy to hop on to educate yourself, yes. read some of those stories yes. while we're at it. What's the hope there with going virtual? Well, it's um, we love the pinwheels. We've seen in the past, we've had a lot of pinwheel gardens. This is a virtual way to be able to do that. And so we can see nationwide how people are supporting this effort. And then, of course, we still have the non-virtual yeah. versions of the pinwheels. We love to see these bouquets around. ABC4 Studios has a lot of them sprinkled throughout the studio. And then we have our... Um, pinwheel pins, the lapel pins that you can get, both of these at our web store. So those are great ways to support the cause. And they can just hop online right there and get one of the pinwheels and yes. the pins. Yeah, yeah, Not absolutely. Easy. And they're just a fun little decoration. And of course the kids love them. And um, there's also, there's a you can do breathing exercises with kids that to kind of so help true. them when they're dysregulated. If they can blow and breathe in, it helps them to, to calm down There's and regulate. There's a lot to regulate, that. So. But back to seeing how we're doing nationwide and seeing mm -hmm. that we need to step it up a little bit here in the West. Let's talk That's about right. Utah specifically and how we're doing this year, this April in 2024. Yeah, I think, well, so Utah is not, we wish that there were no child abuse happening in Utah. We're working towards that. We really want to prioritize prevention and strengthening families for the month of April. And one of the ways that we're doing that is um, our golf tournament coming up June 24th. So we're really excited about that. We need support from uh, Utahns on this. If you want to come and play golf for the day, we'd love to have you sign up for for a team. Um, we also have opportunities to donate prizes or to sponsor holes. ABC4 sponsors a hole for us every year and we're so grateful for that um, community support. It's How a great are way for we businesses. doing with awareness uh, here across the state? These programs are wonderful. Um, how are we doing with um, lowering that statistic? So it's really quite interesting. We did some recent research with um, the Boulder Way Forward Initiative and Susan Madsen from the Utah State University, and I just heard some of the outcomes from that yesterday. And it's interesting that Utahns are not as aware of child abuse statistics in the state and what the actual problem is. And it, that's normal. If it's not happening to someone close to you or in your family, or even sometimes when it is, you're not necessarily always aware of it. We really want to make sure that we can prevent those, that harm, neglect, and abuse from ever happening to kids in the first place. And there's really good, solid, hopeful ways to do that with strengthening families and providing support so that nothing, so that kids experience happy childhoods free from abuse and neglect. And if we do need to step it up in our state and know what to look for or what might sound the alarm bell, what are a couple of those things just maybe right off the cuff that we can know and spread the conversation about? So something that's interesting sometimes when um, I'm talking about child abuse, people just think I'm talking about child sexual abuse. And although that is very important and our statistics in Utah are higher than the national average, kids are being sexually abused more in Utah than in other states. Um, so we need to pay attention to that, but it's also important to pay attention to the other forms of child abuse and neglect. So neglect is one of those, right? Families 
having just not having the ability to provide for their children's basic needs and physical abuse as well. So these are things that we can really help with with some really fundamental things. And you're also doing so much in the schools as well. Thank you, Lorianne. And also sign up for that golf tournament that's happening in June. PCAUtah.org is the place for all of that information. And thank you so much. Thank you for sponsoring this segment as well, Lorianne. GTU will be right back after this short break.